You know what? We all mess up sometime or another. So how do you bounce back when you make a mistake? Our friend and motivational speaker, Michael Miller, is offering three things we can do. Hi, Michael. Hi, Garrett. I, I, this is it. a daily occurrence for me. <laughs> yes. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty familiar <laughs> right. with for making, me too. <laughs> for, for making mistakes. We all make mistakes, but right. you know, I think some people are a little bit better about letting them go, and there, some of us beat ourselves up a lot. Right. You know, it's life. Right, and, and uh, you know, this time of the year, you know, we started really strong in the new year, and now, you know, some mistakes happen or some bad things happen. So it's a good time to think about how do we deal with it. Right? Yeah, it's kind of the measure Our, of life. So the first thing is face what happened. Yeah, look that thing right in the eye. Something bad happened. I, I lost my job. I, um, I, I, I gained five pounds, right. and and and. Um, uh, that's where I am. Look at right in the eye. You know, a lot of things that happen aren't our fault. You know, if you had a bad situation at work, maybe you lost your job. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's easy to blame the boss and blame the situation. And that's fine. You're not in control of that. What, what did you do? It's time to kind of face it. I'm, I'm in this bad position or I'm set back because it's something that happened. And what's, what's my part of it? What, what, what's my place in this? So admit, you know, yeah. look, look it in the face and just say, hey, I think I did something. Yeah, exactly. I might have. It's like no fault insurance. <laughs> Right. It's like 10%, no matter what happens, even if it's not your fault, 10% to 20% is your fault. Is yours, right? right. And you know what's cool is, and take responsibility maybe for what was yours in the problem. You know, you could have been in a bad situation at work and may maybe you lost your job. And yes, the boss was unreasonable. Yes, you know, there were conditions. You didn't have the support. But did you ask for it? Like, what's my, your what? piece in it? Like, right. just look it square in the eye and, and don't deny that this thing happened. You know, we try to trudge on and smile through everything. Yeah, this I'm set back. And right. this is not to beat yourself up, but it's more that you want to learn from the mistakes because, I mean, all the greats talk about that the failures are what led to their success. Failure is just a step on the way to success. Yes, I want to make no assumptions about you too, but the rest of us have failed, oh, have made a mistake, have done heaven. something wrong. Uh, and, we fail and, daily. And we, that's life. <laughs> segment by segment. Right. So what do you take? <laughs> what do you take? What do you take with you from it? You know. You know. You win some and you lose some. Yeah. But the the key is you need to learn from what happened so you don't make that mistake again. Right. So you're dating someone that you love and there's your breakup. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know they could be a fool or a jerk, but what part is yours? What did you do? that caused the setback that you could do differently, right? Right, this is better Connecticut. We wanna be better. So we take that mistake, we learn from it, we take something from it so that we don't do it again. You know, mm -hmm. once learned, twice burned. I, I gotta be honest though, I got, you know, it was my first job, it was in the supermarket, it was in King Collin in Long Island. I got fired after a month. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm perfect. Right. And that's the only job I ever got fired from. Right. Like I, there's nothing to learn there, Michael. No, yeah, no, I'm just well, kidding. No, wait, 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 wait. You know what? No, you, the first like, one. what? This is clearly we need some extra time during the commercial yes. break. Yeah, but yeah. Yes. Uh, but no, but, but you know you can take from that because here's the thing. Yeah, there are that time where maybe you didn't do anything wrong. You're the victim, but you gotta learn from that because disappointment. No, they didn't like my attitude. <laughs> they totally oh, I can't like imagine. I, 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 Sixteen. <laughs> imagine me with an attitude. Right? Well, there was just a great article I was reading in one of the papers today that we are in this culture. Of that it's not okay to be sad. It's not okay to have bad things happen. And that we, they went back, they were quoting these famous books that all of us should read, and it was this whole thing on that. Like sadness or setbacks or disappointment, it's the whole thing that makes you stronger. Exactly. You have to go through it. Yes, and that's, that's what gives you metal, right? Knowing that you're admitting that you're disappointed and learning why and saying, I'm disappointed sometimes, I'm sad. Um, you can take that with you. You get, you get strengthened from this. The uh -huh. learning piece is the, is the part that lets you move forward. And that, that's really important. Yeah. Right, right. All right, so we're, we're talking about, remember your setback doesn't define you. All right, this, this, this lost job, right, doesn't mean that you're a loser. The negative self-talk we give us mm -hmm. when we get the setback, right? You know me with my weight loss thing. I gained some weight and I'm like, see? That's, that's really what you are, right? Yeah. The 20 years of being at this weight doesn't count in that. Right. That's a big mistake. So the, your setbacks don't define you. We're the sum total of our experiences, right? And you know, let go. What other people did to us that caused a setback, we're not in control of that, but we're in control of our own attitude. Mm -hmm. So you've had successes, you've had wins in the past, Go to that too. Your setback does not define you. Failures are not who you are. You're the sum total of it all. And that's what lets you move forward with some confidence. It's like, yeah, I, I beat this. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to change because 
this is not my defining characteristic. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's really important. You know, sometimes I, I know that it sounds hokey, but you know, love yourself enough to move on and, right. and to face the next challenge and you probably will find success. You take that with you, mm -hmm. right? And that's very true. It's a good thing to teach our kids too. We all need to learn how to handle setbacks. And no, you have uh, a final thought absolutely. for us. Yeah, let's 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 move forward with more confidence. But that confidence does not come from pretending that everything's okay. You had a setback, you learned from it, and now turn to the to the next thing because you might find that the next thing's going to be great, and that's your next success. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, I'm like you know. Then if you don't learn it here, you got to come back in another life and keep doing it. No, learn it here. I'm trying to learn it here. <laughs> no. Michael Miller is on the road most of the year speaking to and working with college students and businesses on a range to of topics. To learn more about Michael, if you need some extra help, Scott, or I office might, hours, I might say extra you hours. can head to his website. It's michaelmillerspeaks.com. All right. Earlier in the show, we shared a recipe for Irish coffee. So yep. now... <laughs> want some cake to go with that it. That sounds perfect. Perfect timing. Sunday is National Chocolate Cake Day. We're going to be heading to the bakery next. Mm.